Uh, speaking of which, it's been a while, Carl. Nice it to see you. It has been a while. Yeah, I've missed you. Oh, yeah. I'm... You could wear red on top and blue on the bottom, and that would make purple, wouldn't it? I was thinking about oh. what you were saying. You see, I was watching a programme last night when I, I couldn't sleep. I say last night, it's about three o'clock this morning. And it was all about uh, the history of Air Force One and why yeah. Air Force One is painted the colours um, that, that she is. And it's all to do with the design that Jackie Kennedy liked and they've kept it. However, Donald Trump insists that, um, that the new fleet of Air Orange. Force Ones... No, no, should be red, white and blue instead of just blue and white. Fair enough. America. I'm not going to argue with him. So you're suggesting that I should dress like Air Force One on the American flag? Well, no, why? Just red and blue. Oh. And if you join them together, that's purple. Oh, okay. So just today, I, I'm not suggesting every day you wear that, but just today you spoke about being <laughs> happy in purple, so I'm trying to help. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something. If if you haven't got a pet, but you want fashion advice, Arg B is actually the place to go. well away from me. <laughs> well away from me, Alex. That's not not the best advice you've ever given on air. <laughs> Trust me, I'll give them, yeah, I give some really dodgy advice. Let, let's talk. <laughs> well, then. that goes right way up the list in your dodgy advice, I think. <laughs> if you want to see Dr. Carl's uh, fashion advice, do check out the video. It'll be on the, the Mang Radio porthole and all that kind of stuff a little later on. Um, right, so we want to talk about um, nice pets. Today, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Hugo Boss. It's very fancy. Um, now, let's talk about pets. Uh, when uh, TT, just around the corner, in fact, scarily just around the corner, oh, just over a week ago. that happen? I know. Um, advice for pet owners. Keep them off the roads. Nice and simple. <laughs> I know it's difficult because I've got pets. Um, and I know every year there's that panic a couple of hours before the roads are due to close. Stood out screaming your cat's names. And cats are obviously a little bit more difficult than dogs. And sometimes you just do the best you can. But dogs, people generally have a little bit more control over. Um, and cats are normally more sensible than dogs. So they keep well away from the roads when those quiet bugs are going by um but but dogs can be a bigger problem it's, it's just really and i know we'd say it every year and it's broadcast on manx radio right through the races but people sometimes still don't remember do they um you're you're putting a lot of people at risk you're putting your dog at risk you're putting the riders at risk and you're putting the people watching the races at risk so it's just think about where's my dog so there's a couple of hours to go before racing is he or she secure do i need to do anything about that now the other topic you want to talk about this afternoon and Somehow, in your wonderful creativity of um, being a vet, a fashion stylist, and uh, and wonderful scriptwriter, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you've linked um, the TT and having your animals basically when neutering. I lent all my creativity off this wonderful director I've worked with for the last eight years. <laughs> yeah, who managed to link TT with chopping bits off. So, um, what yeah. what what is the link that you you put between so, neutering um, that? We think neutering is very important in our practice uh, for many, many reasons. And the reason I've linked it to the TT is one of the things that it does help with is wandering pets, dogs and cats. They tend not, they tend to lose the wanderlust, as I probably would if the same thing happened. Can I say that on air? Is that too much? Uh, no one's listening. That much, okay. Right, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I put where myself were, off now. I was going to say, where were you? You, you, you're losing the, you were losing, losing the wanderlust. Losing the it. wanderlust. Yes. Yeah. Um, it just quietens them down a little bit and they're less likely to, to, to wander. Um, so that, that's one thing, but it also conveys a lot of other advantages, which vary depending on whether it's a male or a female animal. And um, there's certain types of cancer it could stand on. Um, obviously, with female dogs, it, it helps with what happens every six months. It's a slight messy situation. Um, that was a little bit like Les Dawson, which doesn't actually go over the radio very well, does <laughs> this, it? This video is I'm out of terrific. practice, haven't I? I'm oh, out of practice, Alex. Word. It's been too long since I've been on. Can you play the piano badly as well? Yeah. Uh, that's very badly, idea. yeah. Um, I just need to put a bit more weight on. Uh, I, I can help. You've got you with it that. nailed. Yeah, I can help you with that easily. <laughs> um, so, um, so, so there's health reasons as well um, for the for the animals involved. Yeah. And um, now, when it comes to um, if people are interested in actually having their animals neutered, I mean, do they come along to see you for a consultation first? I, I presume it's not just a oh, I've decided today. Can you do it right now? I sit yeah. and wait. We're more than happy to speak to people. So um, if we've never seen their animal before, absolutely. We, we like to have a look at it. We like to make sure they're healthy. It's what's called elective surgery. So that means we're making a decision to do it for all the right reasons. But we want to make sure we're doing it at a time that's best for the pet. So A, they're fully fit and healthy. All the vaccinations up to date. And B, especially with female dogs, that so they're at the right the right stage of the cycle. So it's, it's we're making the surgery as safe as possible. Um, so absolutely, if we've never seen the dog, love to see them otherwise if people want some advice on it ring up and our nurses or our vets are more than happy to talk to you about it um, and give you advice on, on what the best thing to do the advantage is if you're worried about it if you have questions about it people have lots of questions about it we are more than happy to answer them 
So if people want to get in touch about um, the neutering their animals, of course, the message from today is of, uh, make sure you keep them off the roads for TT as well. Um, yep. But they want to get in touch with um, the Argbeam for neutering their animals, you personally for fashion advice, um, or maybe script writing services. How do they Absolutely. get in touch? Whatever, whatever. I'll do anything, really, for money, Alex. <laughs> that, that's know. pretty, he will. He it's, will, it's, pretty much. It's sad, but sad, but true, isn't it? Yeah, you know me too well. Um, if they give us a ring. Uh, the Onken surgery is six double two two five nine. Ramsey's eight one two two zero eight. They find us on that Facebook yoke. Um, just search for Arg Bean and our website's www.iomvet.co.uk. And as a special, mm. just because it's been a while since I've seen you, yes, um, and because we think it's important and it kind of links in with TT, um, in the next month we're offering a discount on neutering. So if, if you are thinking about it but you're worried about the cost, we've got twenty five percent off for the next month. So have a chat with us, find out what it's about, find out what goes on, and we will more than happy to talk you through it. If people are worried about where the dogs are going to go or the cats are going to go, we will happily show them around our facilities. We're, we, we're very proud of our facilities, so if people want to come in, see where their animal's going to go, see where it's all going to happen, we will happily show them that, um, and then they get a bit of a discount. And who, who doesn't like saving money, Alex? Uh, well, exactly, because you know, you'll know you do anything for money, and people like saving money. That, that's I'm sure, Perfect. given enough given enough time, I could come up with some sort Don't, of link let's there. Let's stop there. <laughs> Before we both get into trouble, Alex, and I lose my job, and you never broadcast again. I'm, I'm sure the listeners would ring in and suggest that. <laughs> Carl, as always, lovely to see you. Harsh. A bit harsh, Mr. Friendly. Well, it's only my mum listening. It's OK. Fine. Yes. Um, uh, see you next month. Let's let's try doing it again next month. It's such fun, isn't it? It, it is, yes. <laughs>